The software includes an easy to use event engine. Before we get into creating an event, it's important to understand what an event actually is. An event consists of an action or a sequence of actions that are set in motion by a trigger that may or may not have conditions tied to it. To put it simply, an event waits for a trigger to fire. This can be the time of day or a device's status change, like a motion sensor detecting motion. Once this occurs, an action or multiple actions are executed. This could be a light turning on, a security system being armed, or a text message being sent. In this example, I'm going to create an event that turns off a light at a set time. To start, I'll give my event a name. I like my event names to clearly state what the event does, so I'll call it Living Room Lights Off at 11 p.m. After it's named, the first thing an event needs is a trigger. Open the Trigger menu and select the Time Is. In the next menu, we need to select one of the many time-related triggers. Because I want my event to fire at a set time, I'm going to select the Time Is This. This will give me the ability to enter the exact time, 11 p.m. Once the time has been entered, click the Save icon. Now we can add an action. Open the drop-down menu and select Control a Device. In the Add Device drop-down menu, we'll be given a list of any controllable device from the device list. I'll select one of my living room lights and then the specific feature that I want to control, which is the switch. And I want it to turn off, so I will set the control to off. To add multiple devices to an action, use the Add Device menu and repeat the last step. To complete the setup of your event, click the Save icon. This event will now trigger at 11 p.m. every day and turn off both living room lights. But let's say we only want this event to trigger on certain days. We can do this by adding a condition. A condition is a true or false statement that can be added to an event. In this case, our condition is going to be true on specific days of the week. To add a condition, click the plus symbol here and expand the condition menu. Select the date or day is. And then in the following menu, select the day is. Now I'll just select the days that I want my event to work on and click Save. 